Okay, so this is the second part of uh, writing a Windows program uh, in assembly using Visual C++ or Visual Studio 2010. Both will work, but the uh, Express version is free, so everybody can download it and uh, use it. Actually, want to point something out that the message box here has a little bit of a typo in the first tutorial, so you might want to fix it. Of course, you don't have to, only if you want this thing to work. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, that's the way you write message box. Uh, I actually put an extra G over there, and this will obviously want to. So, we finish with all of that, and let's start writing the code. Code section start with, with the code. Next thing is the main section. We, you can write, call it anything that you like. You can call it start. You can call it I'm the greatest, of course, with underscores. I'm going to call it main because it's the easiest. Then I'm going to put a nope here. Nope meaning no operand or no operation or whatever you want. Basically, call of something doesn't do anything, this will not do anything. I'm using this because um, in Microsoft uh, assembly program, after we put a tag here, any order that we put here will execute, but the debugger won't step in it. So if you want to debug this program, which you can, um, you should really put a nope here and start debugging right after this. So anytime you start an assembly program, you should put the nope here. It will cost you like a couple of bytes, but it's worth it. And what we are going to do, we are going to do the message box uh, function. We are going to call the message box function from assembly, which is pretty cool. And what we need is a text for the message box, which we define in the first part of the tutorial. We need a caption, which we already defined in the first uh, part of the tutorial. We need a couple of other parameters, and sure you probably remember that those parameters are window and the type of the message box, but if you don't, you can go to MSDN and type in message box, you got the message box function, and you got all the parameters right here. Now, uh, how many parameters that uh, we have? Uh, it's one, two, three, four, and four. And this is why the message box is ending with this at sign and the number 16. Why 16? Because it's uh, assembly 32 and uh, uh, we got here a handle which is a pointer, 4 bytes. We got a pointer to a text, again 4 bytes. A pointer to a caption, again 4 bytes. And, a, and an int, uh, which is again 4 bytes. So 4 times 4 is 16. This is the actual way um, that uh, we need to call function. Uh, when you're calling those in C or C++, the compiler uh, itself will add this extension. But we are not. We are doing it in assembly, so keep this in mind. Uh, exit process, the first function, will be using only one parameter, so it needs only at 4. And just uh, for an exercise, how many uh, or what is going to be the number here uh, if we have uh, six parameters? What do you say? Well, it's going to be 24. Uh, the parameter size actually count, but most of the time it's either int or pointer to something. We rarely have function uh, where we uh, need a single byte, uh, you know, like a a regular boolean or so forth, but we might, you know, or, or it might be our own function in some kind of C++ program, so the number of bytes will change. But usually in uh, Microsoft Windows the parameters are pointers or integers, meaning they are 4 bytes long, so usually you will see uh, the name of the function uh, with the add sign and the number of bytes. Now, here we have exit process, but here we have message box and then the word 
and then, excuse me, the letter A, not the word. And then we have the letter A. The letter A meaning that we are going to use the ANSI version. Again, something that usually will be dealt uh, for you by Visual Studio, but not in this case. Uh, again, using assembly, you have to write all this thing yourself. Uh, the A means that um, we are going to use the ANSI version, and this is why we define here bytes and not uh, Unicode uh, characters. Every function in Windows that have any string parameter at all, even if you got 10 parameters, only one of them is a string, come in two flavors, either with an A or with a W. If you write in a C++ program, you only write message box, and the compiler will interrupt that later. Uh, actually, this is the, the preprocessor, not the compiler, that's going to interrupt it later, uh, either with an A or with a W at the end. Right in the assembly program, we don't have this kind of, I don't know, luxury or spoilment or whatever you want to call it. So we have to tell the compiler exactly what function to call. I think it's pretty cool. You have absolutely full control uh, uh, for your program and you can decide what function is called where and when. So. Uh, this is uh, how string function, only string function, if you look at the exit process function, it's not adding, uh, we are not adding anything at all to it, only function that contains strings. So let's go back and see how this thing is assembled. We have the message box function, which we need to add an A because, as you can see, we have strings, uh, string parameters, actually two of them, but even one is enough. And this uh, function has four parameters window handle, and the text, the caption, and the type. Now, standard calling, right here, and this function actually is using standard calling, meaning that all the parameters under Windows 32, 64 bits has something else, all the parameters under uh, 32 are in the stack. And stack is some kind of memory that the first value that you put in is actually the last value to be called. Meaning, we have to stack our parameters in reverse order. So in, in a C uh, program, we call this message box with the window value, which would be zero in this case. Then the text, then the caption, then the type. Here we have to do the reverse order, call the type first, then the caption, then the text, then the window. Basically we have to push all of this to the stack in reverse order, then we call in this uh, function, and we need to get familiar with those parameters. So we know these two are strings, this can be null, in our case has to be null because we don't have any parent window, and this, this thing basically tells the message book function if we need a button, and what kind of a button. So, uh, let's go. Uh, first of all, we're going to push 0, meaning we are wanting the, we want the message box OK value. Then, we are going to push the caption. Now, to push the caption, uh, we have to load the effective address of the caption to a X because, if you remember, we have to use a pointer, a long pointer. We have to use a pointer to the caption and a pointer to the text. So we have the pointer to the caption, and we need a pointer to the text as well. Same thing. And what we need is, last but not least, we need to push zero for the window handle. Then we can call the function. Then we need to exit the process. And then we need to end main.